did something. We still not move. But the pattern's changed. The added energy definitely had an effect. Blew up a damn nuke. Alien did not even notice. It clearly did, because it contained the fucking uh, explosion. Oh, shit. Wow. Captain. Egan. Good to see you on your feet. Good to see you again, too. Open the door. Sorry, boss man, no can do. We're not supposed to leave this one alone. He won't be alone. To you mr scientist that was a really interesting scene on multiple levels sorry i'm still crying a little bit so it looks like we've got a bit of a confirmation of kamina's love for naomi there i think that look on her face was pretty unambiguous i think kamina does actually have romantic feelings that's an understatement she's deeply in love with naomi and that is, oh, that has got, that crept up on me. I didn't, I actually kind of, I got like, this amazing chemistry between those two, but it, it felt like a kind of an equal, platonic, with a bit of flirtation kind of chemistry. It sort of crept up on me quite late that, but there was no, no ambiguity about that moment at all for me. And very interesting to see Clarissa overhearing that conversation and I think what I saw was her beginning to understand the decency of Jim she's essentially eavesdropping on a private conversation and through that is able to see that this is a man who is willing to risk his own life and everything to do what's right I am hoping that that is what I just saw but obviously we don't know that's what it looked like. She seems to be having second thoughts anyway. So now let's find out what the nuclear bomb has done to the ring. Play. Yeah, well, that was the point of the exercise, right? But it didn't affect the behavior of the field holding us here. And the station is now generating magnetic pulses like a, like a rail gun charging up only on a massive scale. Uh -oh. The pulses are focused toward the ring. Oh, no! It's going to do the thing! They burned whole solar. We're trying to cauterize a wound. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing, just something a madman told me once. Do we know how oh, long this will last? Shit. The pulses are increasing in frequency and amplitude. I estimate less than seven hours before it becomes a continuous signal. Whatever's going to happen, it will happen then. No! No, that's the end of the fucking world! Sorry. 
So that's the official report. The skiff detonation was intentional, but an anonymous source has told me that the magnetic activity coming from the station is increasing and seems to be affecting the ring gate as well. We came into this place thinking we understood the rules, and then the rules changed and a lot of people died. We hope that the answers are coming soon. Well done, Monica. We kicked the hornet's nest, and now we know for sure that there are hornets inside. Yeah. Freezing all of our ships wasn't enough proof for you. He believed that the station did this to stop a threat. When we detonated our bomb, I believe mm -hmm. we became the threat. And not just our ships, but everyone, all humanity, on both sides of the rim. Jesus Christ. Now, I'm glad we set off the bomb. It showed us what the station truly is, and we yeah. still have time to act. What are you proposing? One of your Marines destroyed a piece of the station before it killed him. So we now know it can be damaged. You want to try to blow it up? Shit. During such an attack, our solar system would still be connected to this place through the ring. And that is the means by which the station can still threaten us. You won't close the ring. That means it's our only way home. it will take months for a skiff to ferry bombs up there. When you go outside, you still see, right? Photons still travel at the speed of light in here. So, a laser then? The Behemoth's Calm Laser is the most powerful ever built. And I propose we make it even more so. And use it to slice through the ring and destroy it. And cut the station off from our home. And the trap us all here forever. No one on the other side would ever know what we did. Have saved the human race. Not a bad way to die. Fucking hell! <sighs> wow, okay. Pause. I'm gonna assume that's the end of the first episode. That was a hell of a cliffhanger to go out on. I am stunned. That we are at the point that we are at. We are seven hours away from the station firing a beam out through that ring that would decimate everything our entire solar system just fucked and so our everyone is in the position of needing to make the ultimate sacrifice which is to actually rather than attacking the station use the comms to destroy the ring and that way destroy the ability of the station to affect its attack it's very very smart the only problem with it is everyone inside that place will that'll be the end of them it cuts off their route home the same way they cut off the ability of the station to operate outside of the ring they effectively end, cut off their escape route so there's no happy ending in that scenario you know completely happy obviously it's much happier for every, you know our solar system to continue to exist at the cost of the lies inside the ring and I think everyone inside the ring would feel the same about that but obviously from the point of the show we're, many of our favourite characters are in there so I don't want anyone to die really interesting you know seeing the the potential redemption of Clarissa Mao um, which I said at the outset was unlikely but possible and I still feel the same I feel like it could really go either way with her but it was really great to see a flicker of humanity actually pass across her and i did from i'm rooting for her that i am actually rooting for her to to be redeemed um i'm loving amos and anna there is a chemistry between amos and anna which i cannot get enough of i think it's really really beautiful and i'm loving the way that they're riffing off of each other so that's adorable i was actually caught a little bit off guard by the level of emotion I had seeing Naomi and Jim reunited. She was saying, God again. 
that really was special. Currently on my shit list, right at the top of it, would be Diogo Harari. His chief irritant for me um, during that episode, I am not a fan of lackeys. And he is a classic lackey. I don't like what he's kind of turning into. And he only, like, he's such a misogynist as well. Like, he really only respects, like, the strong man. Um, and he has kind of very little respect for, for women, which pisses me off. The reality is Naomi could kick Diogo's ass. Any one of our team could kick Diogo's ass and he's there fronting it. And the only reason that he has that power is he's got his little gang with him in his position. That, it drives me mad. But yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed that episode. I'm looking forward now to this final push. I can't, I can't. let's do it. <laughs>